Files on your local computer aren't the only things that you might want to read from. These days, there's a good chance that the information that you want is actually stored out on a website. Fortunately, there are easy ways to read from web sources using the Scala source. We can demonstrate this fairly easily. So if we run Scala, let's go ahead and we'll do our import of scala.io.source. we can make a source and this time we're going to call source dot from URL the uh, uniform resource location gives us the ability to point to places out on the web so for example if I wanted to download the site Google's main page I might do that and I could print line source.mkstring and that is Google's homepage at the time when I'm running this. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's reasonably long. Um, <clears throat> but you can see that just using from URL instead of from file you can get access to resources that are out on the web whether they are data files that you want uh, you probably aren't quite ready to be parsing out HTML content at this point, but for data files that you don't have downloaded, this works quite nicely as a way to access them. And because you got a buffered source just like you would have for the file, it turns out that everything works the same way as it did otherwise. So you can call get lines if you want to process one line at a time. Because they are iterators, you can use things like map and filter and basically do all the processing that we've previously shown we can do with plain files, but do it with sources that came from the internet instead.